So Gabby on the Roof in July is a tale of a rambunctious um, Overland undergrad who comes to the city to visit her kind of 30-something struggling artist brother. And she kind of comes in the aftermath of her parents' divorce kind of looking for advice and guidance from her brother who seems to have an, enough issues of his own. Um, between juggling a girlfriend, an ex-girlfriend, and um, just kind of New York City life as you can't, like, and not really being able to afford it. So rather than being able to brother her, he's more distracted by her very, like, provocative and frivolous anti antics. And so he, um, so as the film goes on, it kind of tells the story of their relationship and kind of the frivolous New York antics you can fall into in, in kind of the quiet, lazy summer, hot, lazy summers here. Um, in addition, I thought that, I thought that the production was all around really compelling. I think they did a really great job with the cinematography. It was very, very whimsical and kind of um, personal, which made the film really relatable and kind of made it a window and a picture of um, this kind of lifestyle that I think everyone runs into um, at one point in their life. And also the costume design I think was very appropriate, it was very real. Um, everything seemed to just fit and it just kind of all worked really well. Um, I found the acting style real, especially compelling because of, also for its reality because they were, their characters were based on real people, people they knew, people they'd seen, people they'd met. Um, and that kind of made it all the more interesting rather than coming up with these fictional characters from the figment of the director's imagination, wanting the, getting into that whole complicated thing of the director wanting it to be exactly, the character to be exactly the character he had in mind. Um, so I think that really worked. However, I think the storyline got a little confused. I think they got kind of lost telling their telling their story, and and it only got more confusing when we heard the Q and A because they kind of it was like, well, maybe you wanted to tell a story about. I thought you wanted to tell a story about a brother and a sister, or kind of life in the city, and it just seemed that they weren't quite sure and they kind of endeavored to tell too many stories at once and bring in too many factors to tell their story. But all in all, I thought it was really interesting and really compelling, but I think it could have used kind of some more guidance and some more fine tuning, so to speak.